and our email address you can I, I will use VPS guide at gmail.com see now we have um, to choose the package which we just create internal package right so before you create a, a package you won't be able to create an account so remember that before creating an account you have to create or add a package first and reseller settings just leave it unchecked DNS this is the DNS we just used and we're going to cover the DNS setup right after this and leave everything as it is and click create this will actually create the hosting account automatically so there we go you should also rece receive an email message to the email address you set we can see if you want to check gmail there you can on jupiter.tpsk.com and here's the all the details right so we got the email safely there now that's it now we just created a hosting account but in order for this domain joy right click to be pointing to this IP we need to update the name server of this domain to these two name servers right but before we do that we want to make sure that these two name servers are actually pointing to our server okay so in order to 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 register these two name servers with the IP addresses in this VPS we need to see the IP addresses that are available here so I'm gonna go look for IP address functions okay IP address okay I'm gonna use the find tool here right IP so um, I'm going to go down IP functions and I'm going to show IP address usage so see we have two IPs I'm gonna um, copy this in a notepad or send it to an email as we usually did compose um, NSIPs and the other one I'm gonna copy as well okay we got that covered so I'm gonna go back now we need to actually register the name servers on the domain registrar where um, where the name server we use are registered in this case um, rapid SSL host dot com now actually on a second thought you don't have to use another domain name like a hosting domain name for your name servers you can actually use your own domain or the website we are uh, which you are going to host as the name server so for this example joy right click we're going to host this website right so you can actually use um, ns1 dot joy right click and ns2 dot joy right click dot com as your name servers you don't have to come up with another domain name like a hosting domain name so we're just going to use this okay so in order to do that um, we're going to have to register the name servers on um, a domain registrar I've shown this on the on the other um, video which I created for Plask but I'm gonna show it separately here as well okay so I'm using enom as my domain registration provider so in this particular example we're gonna use enom but 
I will also show you on how you can do it on on other domain registration provider and uh, you can also see where you can watch the video on how to do that so for now I'm going to show you how you can um, register our name servers using enum so first you need to log in and under domains go to advanced tools register a name server now I actually have registered a name server for joyrideclick.com when I was creating the video tutorial for the Plask control panel so for now we have to delete first but you don't have to uh, go through this process so I'm gonna just uh, pause this video and I'm gonna delete the name servers first okay you don't have to follow this 